Hey everybody, Andy Timmons here. Welcome back to Melodic Muse. And this is part two of breaking down the electric gypsy riff. Okay, so we know that the basic notes of the electric gypsy riff, we know the foundation. But the devil's in the details. That's what really makes this riff, you know, sound the way it should sound is the dynamic and the articulation and how the how the phrases are connected. So I really want to talk about some of that and how to really make uh, the riff sound great. So you'll notice a lot of uh, even in that first phrase, I'm starting with the open D string. But what a difference in volume that there is. You know, the, the D is there to kind of set up the tonality. But I'm giving the melody much more volume. You know, I'm digging into that a bit more. So along the way, be aware of, you know, the dynamic and the, vol the, the volume of the nose. The other thing, and I'm watching myself on camera, so that'll help me kind of isolate some of the things that might be important to, uh, to illuminate, but... There's a kind of a basic general loose motion happening um, with the whole thing, especially when... Okay, I'm gonna make sure we're... Keeping that wrist, that wrist nice and loose. Is that sliding with the ring finger? Yeah. And sliding in on that A and C sharp combination. Sneak in a little F sharp before that A. So just that first little phrase. Dynamics. And there's a little, there's, there's a lot of it's connected, but every now and then there's a punctuation of space, right? Hear that? Getting into that B minor chord, now I'm, I'm, I'm going to dig in on all six strings, or, or most of them. But the basic idea is... There's just a, a, a complete percussive uh, touch to that. Yeah. So I've got my left hand muting. Heard Hendrix do it all the time, and of course Stevie Ray is, is, is a disciple of that. With, with, every, with every tune that you work on, there may be just one little bit that you can isolate. Well, there's, there'll be a lot of little bits, but you might pick one to make an exercise out of it. And this, this is a nice one to do that if this kind of technique isn't in your vocabulary. It's kind of a pickup. So the other part of the technique is that there's the first percussive no notes in included. Then I, I let that the A note speak on the D string as I'm as I'm strumming up. Everything else is still muted, but I'm just allowing that one note. Okay, sliding in another percussive. Some you know, hammer ons and pull offs. Hammer on. There's a 
two down picks, but just with the hammer on pull off. And then that G major, E minor pentatonic. It's a little D, D major pentatonic rundown after the G, you know, five dyad. And that swings a little bit. Did it in a triplet. So the, the underlying element to, to this riff also is that it, it, without the melody, it's still a really good kind of rhythm guitar study. Because when you look at Jimmy's playing um, and Stevie Ray certainly, the, their time was so great that there was always a groove happening throughout. So even without the melody, if we just took the chords, and... no ornamentation. Couldn't help it. <laughs> but it's this motion here. And making that feel good, because as a, as a guitar player, it's such an important function that we really need to have together is rhythm guitar playing. It can be uh, overlooked too often these days, right? So. So we're gonna jam on the song with somebody else, you know. Keeping that wrist loose. So that's that's such an important factor, um, and that's what's kind of going through my head, you know, in my musical being while I'm playing the song. Is that the rhythm is just oh, and that 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 subdivision, it's it's always there, you know, it's always pulsing through there, whether whether I'm letting all that speak at the, at the moment or not. So just a great exercise, a great thing to practice. Um, and again, it's gonna it's gonna serve you well because um, we're not playing solos all night. We're we're usually supporting either a singer or other other soloists or melodic players. So make sure that's the solid foundation of everything you do. Because man, again, I, I I've mentioned uh, Jimmy and Stevie a lot in this in this uh, song because it is it does come from them, and that um, and and they're essential. Uh, time feel how that just weaves in through everything they do the, their sense of time is so strong that this can't be uh, overstated how important that is so carry on and play rhythmically <laughs>